your picture taken? Beat it. You heard me, beat it. I don't think you should be seen in a public place, Lupo. What are you worrying about? I'm not a gopher. Just keep the camera girl away from me. I've just got to have something to remember this night by. Oh, miss? Take your picture? Sure thing. Take one of me and my little gal here. Ready? I'll have it for you in 20 minutes, sir. Get that picture. Miss! Oh, excuse me, miss. I'd like to have that picture. Oh, you'd like to have your picture taken? No, no, not my picture. The one you just shot. I'll give you $20 for it. Oh, but this picture, that man's over there. Well, that doesn't matter. I'll give you 50 Oh, just a minute. What are you doing here? That's my picture. None of your business. You're stealing my camera. Well, I'll make it my business. Hey! Get that picture. Come on, let's get out of here. This is starting out like a real Texas evening. Man with a camera. Starring Charles Bronson. I was set for a quiet evening with a little hi-fi, but I guess I'm accident prone. Trouble always seems to find its way to my door. I'm Mike Kovac, photographer. Oh, Mike. Mike, I'm so glad to see you. I'm in trouble. Take it easy now. What's the matter? And then this man jumped the price from twenty to fifty dollars. And this other man hit my customer when he tried to help me. Who was this guy? You ever see him before? No, I don't know. There were four people. Were you followed? I don't know. This way. Mr. Kovac, I'd like to talk to you. It's very important. You know, it's almost midnight. Please, I'll be brief. All right, you're in. Uh, thank you, Mr. Kovac. I'm sorry to intrude, but uh, I believe that you may have a negative in your possession. It's uh, meaningless to you, but very important to me. That's all. I'll come to the point, Mr. Kovac. I'm an attorney. I was at a table with a client, a young lady, when their picture was inadvertently taken. My client is a married man in the midst of divorce proceedings. If his wife uh, learns of his involvement with this woman, well, uh, should that picture get out and his wife see it? Oh. I've heard of you, Mr. Kovac. You're a photographer. Perhaps your services are available where a picture is concerned? Usually, yes. My client is a man of means, Mr. Kovac. He'd be prepared to give you a retainer of uh, $500. $500? Providing the negative is turned over immediately. Is that right? Uh, I know this is very unusual, but uh, I'm willing to make out a check right no, now. Just a minute. It's very late. And I'm real tired. Why don't you call tomorrow? Uh, but $500... I said call tomorrow. And make it like noon because I'm a late sleeper. But, Mr. Kovac... Call tomorrow. I got your message. Uh, tomorrow noon, you say? That's right. You won't forget? I won't forget. I just don't do business at midnight. I understand. Uh, please uh, extend my apologies to the young lady. Yeah, I'll do that. Now it's $500. Find out why. This guy says that guy's chasing this dame. And he jumped the price to the camera girl from 20 to 50, and he offered me a retainer of $500. Could be. So the camera girl made a bundle because they were where they shouldn't be. Donovan, I'm telling you, this guy looks familiar to me. This guy with the glasses. Oh, my, you can't make a federal case out of this. Well, why don't you take a better look at him now? Federal, federal. Needle me, boy, needle me, that girl. French, model, name begins with M. Uh, Marion. No, no, no. Marietta? Mm -mm. Monique. Monique Thaxter. That's Monique Thaxter. So who's Monique Thaxter? You don't know who Monique Thaxter is? Used to be Ace Lupo's girlfriend before he was deported two years ago. Oh, all right. So she's somebody else's girlfriend now. Ace Lupo, you say? Uh-huh. Well, the guy with the glasses. This could be Lupo. 
Murder Incorporated. If he's back in the country. Oh, big if, big if. Lupo was very heavy. Jet black hair, heavy mustache. Never wear glasses that I know of. All right, this guy's not heavy. He's got graying hair, no mustache, and he's wearing glasses. But these things can be changed. You can put them on or take them off. But that facial structure, Donovan, you can't change that. Hey, sure. And if this is Lupo, that ought to make sense now. Yeah, my midnight visitor is supposed to call up noon to find out my answer. One hour. Now, look, Mike, stick with this. I'm making it official. Stall that guy. I'll get in touch with the FBI. It'll take him a couple of hours to find Lupo. Talk to that guy. Find out all you can. Tell him you'll meet him after 3 o'clock. Well, I'm going to hang on to this. I want to tell you or keep this to yourself. Huh? I tell only you my secrets, Lieutenant. Yeah, I know, I know. Look, Mike, this can be very big or nothing. I'll call you at 3 o'clock. Okay, Donovan. Joe, get me the FBI. All right, Lieutenant. Ace Lupo. Hello? Mr. Kovac? Yeah. I was to call you. When may I come by for the negative, Mr. Kovac? I have your 500 retainer. Who am I talking to? Is that important? Sure it's important. I don't accept jobs from anonymous employers. It really doesn't matter, Mr. Kovac, who I am or the identity of my client, if... All right. But I can't see it till after three. After three? But you told me you'd sell at noon. Is that now? I said call at noon. Now it's after three. I'm busy till then. After that, I'm free. All right. See you then. I knew my stall sounded weak, and if Donovan was right about Lupo, I could expect some rough stuff. To play it safe, I took the negative of the picture Ellen shot in the nightclub and hid it where I thought it would be safe. for someone? You. Yeah? Well, that's the nicest thing that's happened to me all day. What about? To find out if you work for my, uh, fiancé. You know, I don't want to seem ungrateful or anything like that, but I expected somebody else, and not so early. I like to be early. No surprises that way. Here's the money. The negative, please. What happened to, uh... uh... He's busy. Well? Why is it worth so much money? I'm a homewrecker. Isn't that what the man said? Well, that's just about what he said, yeah. Then believe him. And it's all tax-free. It's not enough, Miss, uh, what did you say your name was? You don't need it. And please don't get too greedy, Mike. Why? Because you're probably a very nice boy. You can make a good thing out of being at the wrong place at the right time. Don't stretch it. If it's worth 500, then I figure it's worth $5,000. You should have quit at 500. Why? Because at that price, maybe you didn't know. But at 5,000, I know that you do. Oh, wait a minute. No what? I'm sorry. It's going to be messy. Hey! You forgot this! Hey, now, wait a minute. The negative, Mike? You know, we were just dickering here. I got greedy, all right. So let's bargain. Yes, indeed you were, Mike. We thought you were stalling, that's why we came a little early. But I still hope that you hadn't made any prints. Prints of what? The negative, Mike. What negative? Now, the lady asked you nice, Mr. Kovac. Now, you want to get smashed up? No, I don't want to get smashed up. Then tell the lady. I gave it to a friend. Hey, 
nothing on him. Here's his dark room. Find the negative, Mike. Feeling better? I feel lousy. A blonde and two goons walk into my life and make it miserable. Where is it? Where's what? No, Beth. We're not going to get anywhere that way. We'll take him with us. Unless, of course, he remembers. Remembers what? The negative, silly. What negative? You're being very foolish. You're going to travel. You say that Ace Lupo disappeared three months ago, huh? Haven't any idea where he is now? Well, I've got a photograph of someone that I think is him. He was in this city as of last night. Uh-huh. All right, I'll send the picture and details over right away. Thank you. Joe, keep trying to get Mike. I'll take the call in the green room. Get this picture over to the Federal Bureau. They're expecting it. Yes, sir. Why'd you bring him here? Because he knows about Mr. Lupo. Won't turn over the negative and may have tipped off the cops. Mr. Lupo won't like this. Well, you know something? I don't like it either. Shut up. Wait here. Lupo. That was Monique and the boys. They didn't get the negative. No negative? No, sir. I told you to get it from that girl last night. I tried, Lupo. You know that. You tried, you tried. So what are you, a Boy Scout? I don't pay you to try. I pay you to do. I don't like Kovac having that negative any better than you do. I've got a reputation to think about. I've got a respectable practice. Nobody knows. That you're fronting for me? No, nobody knows it. But this Kovac's gonna find out. Then what good do you think you'll be to me? Well, she couldn't get it from him either, Lupo. And now she's brought him here. Brought him here? That stupid dame. All right. I'll get it from him. Send him in. Inside. Shut up. Well, what else could I do? He knows. 
You got something I want, fella. Yeah, that's what I figured. Now, why don't we just talk this thing over? Biff, go pour a drink and bring me an aspirin. I got a headache. Uh, what's your pleasure? I'm not thirsty. You're not very sociable, are you? That's not why I'm here, is it? It's no wonder I got a headache. I got to do all the thinking around here. So you know who I am. Tell me, why didn't you take the 500 for the negative and let it go at that? He wants $5,000. Well, that's how I knew that he knew who you were. I was just dickering. I figured I was in a bargaining position. The position isn't very good now, is it, fella? Suppose I were to pay you five grand. Think you have sense enough to keep your mouth shut? Sure. I want to enjoy the money. Don't believe him, Lupo. He's probably gone to the police where they probably made a dozen prints. How many? One. That's only because I'm naturally curious. All right, I'll pay you five grand for the negative and the print. Not now, you won't. It was $5,000 before the beating. So make it 10. How do we get it? I got to go back to my apartment. Oh, no. You stay here. I'll send one of the boys. Yeah, then what? You box me up one of those crates out there? <laughs> All right, I'll make you this kind of a deal. I get the negative and the print. You get 10 grand, you go free. Now, if the cops don't come for me, I'll know you had sense enough to keep your mouth shut. But if they do, and if they get me, remember, I got ways of catching up with you, understand? Sounds all right, if you mean it. <laughs> of course I mean it. I give you my word. I get the negative and the print. You get 10 grand, go free, okay? No. You worry me. Look, I said that was it. You know, I could get rid of you right now and take my chances. What's it gonna be, boy? Well, hey, you know, this is a pretty nice apartment. Did you decorate it? Good taste. I'm artistic. All right, fella. What's it gonna be? You tell me where it is, I send one of the boys for. You go free. You don't tell me? I'll see to it that you have plenty of trouble starting now. Look, Lupo. All right, right, boys, that's it. Wait a minute. Okay. I'll take your word. All right, fella. It's better. It's another floor mat in my car. It's a station wagon parked in front of the building I live in. Keys, please. <laughs> hey, you know, all of a sudden, my headache's gone. That's powerful stuff. And you're right. She does have good taste. And good sense, too, for bringing you here. She's a real smart girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Yes, sir, I'll tell him. He'll get right back to you. Did you get in touch with Kovacs? No, sir. Just got a call from the Federal Bureau. They definitely identify Lupo in the photograph and want to talk to Kovacs. But I haven't been able to reach him. They've been calling him, too. Funny, Mike not be at home when he said he would be. I said you'd get in touch with him. They're trying to get him. We're trying to get him. He was expecting my call. Now, Lupo's no fool. Do you think that... I'm thinking that Lupo's no fool and that he's vicious. Call the Bureau back. Tell him I'm on the way to Kovacs' apartment. I don't want to waste any more time. Yes, sir. <laughs>
don't have something to eat? I'm not hungry. What's keeping Al? He should have been back by now. Traffic is heavy at this hour. Unless Mike is lying and he didn't find the negative. Or walked into a trap. No, no, I think Mike's too smart to try to pull anything like that. Yeah, real smart. That's why I'm here. There he is. Now that you got the negative, do I get out of here? The print. What'd you do with the print? Lupo, you gave me your word. Sure, I give you my word, and I'm gonna keep it just like you kept yours. All right, boys. All right, hold it. Lupo, the police will find him. Quit worrying about it. The boys know what they're doing. They'll put him in the deep freeze. inside the ice box, we couldn't hear it. But we did. That was an outside shot. You're right. One of those guys outside your pop and tail of me. What are you doing? I'm looking for this guy's gun. Hey, there he is. Duck down. Yeah. 